You know, we're just going to jump right into this. If you were one of the people who posted, and I quote, if Kyle Rittenhouse were black, then X, Y, Z would have happened. If you were one of the people who posted that, then you are a race baiting, incoherent, racist piece of shit. You literally took a case that had nothing to do with race and pulled the race card. You are the problem with race relations in this country. We started making progress with the George Floyd trial and Derek Chauvin being sentenced. We made progress. You were flipping a case that had to do with three thugs, three white liberal thugs who probably belong to Antifa getting shot for being stupid. And you know what? I hate that lives were lost. I hate that. Nobody wishes that for anybody to lose their life. But can you sit here honestly and tell me that if somebody was threatening your life and you had a gun, robbed, they were trying to rob you, they were looting, burning down the entire city, they were chasing after you, and you had a gun, not to mention one of them who was a felon carrying a gun in his back between his belt loop. Not to mention that, they'll be found out five days later. You can't honestly tell me that you wouldn't defend yourself. And if you wouldn't, that shows how much you value your life and how much of a backbone you have and that fight or flight comes to play. You're the, fl- you're the flight. That's all you woke left white liberal people are. That's all you are. Between, You know what? We can divide the left and the right into many ways. Here's a new one we can. The fight or the flight response. And you know what? I hate to say I was right about this. I said it in 2016. Eventually, Antifa, woke liberals who are causing violence towards us conservatives, eventually, you're going to piss us off to the point where we start fighting back. And that's where the Proud Boys came in. And the Proud Boys are not, they are not a terrorist organization. I proudly support what they're doing because they protect conservatives. They won't let conservatives get beaten with bike chains anymore when they go vote. And eventually, that mentality was bound to be picked up. The flight mode is you, woke liberals, because all you do, something offends you, everybody on your side hops on board with you because they've never belonged to a group before in their life because they don't have a backbone. Now conservatives have entered the stage of the fight mode because we're not backing down from you. You don't intimidate us. We're not fucking scared of you. The only thing we fear is big government. But I'm done sitting here and acting like woke white liberals or wokeism itself, people who fall into that spectrum. I'm done acting like they mean anything. No, they're pathetic. They're a waste of they're a waste of space. Pro- they provoke violence. They attack people. And a kid, a 17-year-old kid, who was about to get killed by three of them, defended himself while trying to protect the small business that they were burning down or attempting to burn down. You call this a race case? That is so irresponsible of you to do. So irresponsible. You ought to be ashamed of. You should. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because you are literally turning back everything. You're going back in time in terms of race relations. Going back in time. So, Mr. Rittenhouse, as a pro-gun, Second Amendment loving, patriot lover of this country, and everything it stands for. We are happy for you, my friend. I hope your life can get back to some sort of sense of normality. I really hope it can, man. Because 
you have every right to sue Joe Biden's campaign, CNN, MSNBC, every one of these mainstream medias. You have a right to sue them for defamation of character. And you will win that case as well. I mean, it's, but you know what? Stick to what I said. Kyle, this beer's for you, my friend.